So what was it? The fears, shadows chasing them through their own mind. And uh, in that sense, what was that about? The, uh, okay, the knowledge of mortality and the gods, quote unquote, in that if we only see... If, if we choose to see binary vision, we see the good and we only focus on the good and we end up forgetting the shadow side. And at that point, when we see the shadow side, it looks like something outside of ourselves or foreign or something different or unrecognizable. In that sense, we try to resist it and negate ourselves in that part of the equation. And that just empowers that contrast that much more, kind of like backing up and drawing the... Uh, the circumference of the diameter of the circle produced by the diameter between the two in a, in a greater and greater proportion by, you know, trying to produce resistance. Now the reflect the, the reflection or the, uh, reaction of your energy and your motion is just as great as your attempt to resist yourself and get away from it. The pull gets even greater of gravity pulling the two dualities together. And so then, you know, then the idea is that if we saw that that was the illusion, that one is the other in the sense we would look to where the change is and the change happens around the fulcrum of those quote unquote darker points. And so at those points, we'd look at those points and say, there's goodness in understanding how we change and why we change. And, uh, if they were very, not dark, but they were shadow knowledge of the shadow self, others without that knowledge would see that and consider it very, neglectful of a sense of compassion to put it lightly when in reality one has to move farther through the sense of compassion to understand that and then go through compassion into the other side of that and then back to compassion in order to understand that you have to go around back and forth um and it's all about the motivation of why one is one is doing that and so then and so then the other aspect is that if so then seeing, say, the gods, the gods, uh, their parents kill each other, parent, you know, ate their children, or children kill their dads, or whatever it is. It, well, that's a metaphor for the fact that in time, uh, one's mind is proliferated through the offspring. And so in that sense, the mind of the past eats like an inchworm the mind of the, the present and therefore in, in, eats its way into the future through the the youth and the innocent and the, the the youngness the freshness of the universe as the present moment of time present moment is the offspring of the past in other words and the past eats itself continuously but that's also the illusion that's the it doesn't have to be that way that's just this pattern we we got into and it's a recognition we 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 uh closed in on because the energy it's the easiest way to use the energy it's like a slinky or a jacob's ladder kind of like step over because the energy is reflecting itself but it's stepping down each time if they're not learning if it's not a uh, conducive process so then in other words if the energy isn't recycled the proper way the youth get dumber and dumber and less and less capable and we're literally shit out of luck because <laughs> it's like bottoming out until like it, it, it's like driving so that the distance between the tires and the wheel well, like the, they shrink and it's like the car, like the tires move through the roof of the car and still attempting to drive forward somehow. It's like that direction is impossible. It's impossible to, to uh, take the energy from our children and recycle it into the past. But then if that gets out of control in the way that it has, our children literally go and turn into vampires before they're in adolescence. Well, who's going to get the energy? Because if the energy is not there, we just broke the cycle by creating a negative feedback loop that kills itself, if you will, or eats itself. And so then that has to be reversed. But uh, it's all part of a process and, and, and wrapped within itself. They carry itself out. The universe carries itself out. It's like trains on a track. They got to be, the tricks have to switch. And in that sense, it's like two circles that are bubbles up against each other and the tracks come around. And when they hit the areas where the tracks are meeting, because they're two bubbles with the same edge sharing the same wall, that track that train can then switch over to the left or the right side and switch to a new bubble, a new cycle. That's kind of how the cycles work. And so then the power cycles operate that way based upon its perspective. And so then... In understanding, say, the Celestials destroy themselves or, 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 or uh, gotten a war between mother and father and created the offspring. Uh, you could say, you know, a planetary body that flew in to create uh, the asteroid belt contacting a previous planetoid and, or an asteroid, or asteroid, uh, asteroid and, uh, wait, asteroid is when it's in the air, meteorites when it's, 
no asteroids when it lands meteorites when it's out in the air anyway or in the space anyway and uh and you know marduk marduk and uh the moon and all that stuff and then they they blow up and create the moon and the meteor uh or asteroid belt um i obviously i guess that's where asteroids are and so it's metaphor between these huge celestial bodies the idea is what if these are actual intelligences what if it's a huge consciousness thing? And, you know, apparently these ones are all kind of fraudulent versions of the real thing. They're avatars of the real gods brought into material space, frozen in, in, in consciousness, time, and space, basically trapped with everyone else that's in here. The whole universe got trapped, including the gods of the universe. Um, and so then, but the idea is, from their perspective, there's no death in that sense, I guess, but... Uh, also, in that sense, there is because the planets that were destroyed, they have to be brought in the process of being brought back together because they're supposed to go into their own process where they do it themselves. It's not because somebody ran them over with the, you know, a galactic 18 wheeler. So there that still incurs itself, which is why those events are described as the myths and legends of war or the myths and legends of the creation, destruction of the psyche and the, the personal and the collective reality. Um, and that is the merging between the finite and the temporary, the mortal, and the infinite, the eternal, and the, uh, the, 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 the immortal, but it's more so ever, ever living or, or uh, it, it maybe eternally self-aware. Um, and so then, however, that goes beyond all of this in the Matrix because it's just, uh, you couldn't have any of that in pure eternity because basically you either have entire bliss or suffering in eternity. Eternity is basically like a night of sleep. It's all goes by so fast that that's how it is. And again, that's the point. If the human realm is not phasing back around again, or there's an experiment to make things last forever one way or another, then it might be like dreaming only a certain quality of dreams depending on the range of experience you initiate consciously in life, meaning your biological, your 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 neurological processes your biology creates the blueprint for your eternal spiritual biology or, or or however that works and that's through the range of access created by the opening in information and energy created by the cleaving of the two sides of duality depending on how well effortlessly seamlessly and really enjoy you swing on the pendulum uh, without, or more so, how safely you do it without breaking or running into anything or stretching the wire or anything like that and phasing out of time and all these things that can go wrong perceptually. But that's just saying one's growing through, you know, adolescence and so on and how one can get lost becoming themselves in a different uh, environment and situation and process that they feel they've never experienced before. And in their attention, their acknowledgement, their intention and uh, participation in that process literally determines who they become. That's a very integral thing. But the idea is these, these larger systems, that's the same process. You wouldn't say the old, you know, 14-year-old self is dead. It doesn't make sense. It's nonsensical. So in the same sense that the body is a long-term recorded system of, of time, we have access to that in multiple uh, dimensions, but we have to make use of that while here encoding it into this reality, or it doesn't make sense. It's like saying, I have uh, an invisible bank account that has all the money in the world in it, and literally having that, and not having any way to make use of it. It doesn't. It wouldn't make sense. But that's what we all have. That's the, the secret. That's like the whole description of you have an invisible, you know, wealth of richness of, of spiritual divinity, but you got to tap into it if you know how, who to ask and who to pray to and this, that, and the other. That's just the common thing of who to, ta who to you know, tip, who to make friends with, who to shake hands with, who to, you know, be nice with and scratch the back of in order to get ahead. That same system is that system itself is a mimic, a mimic of the hierarchy in society and physical reality. That is cleverly designed as one that mimics spirituality while cleverly dis disguising that as one that is using that disguise to do other things while it's actually being used for the exact opposite, which is self-destruction. In that sense, it's the same system. One looks at that and handles the energy that they are allotted, and it's up to them. Do it right, and then that's not that. Or they don't, and it destroys. It leads to self-destruction. And so... What we're looking at is a, a really a clear scope of reality if humans had a chance to, to interact. It's a very tight system. Um, mostly, 
people have that that issue it's a bit of a it's kind of like an insanity where you know like wrote, i made a post everyone somebody a long time ago started doing things they didn't know the, the 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 reasons behind or the true results of the f- true effects of and they convince the history from there on is basically them convincing everyone else to also do things that they have no idea the results of and the effects of and so that's seen as kind of like a power level addiction or or illusion syndrome where we think we do we, we're seeing shit twisted we got shit twisted and Ultimately, we have less power than we think we do when we speak from the ego or the any of that humanoid, egotistical stuff. That 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 perspective it compl- it doesn't exist. It literally doesn't exist. It has no bearing on reality. We can do that to ourselves.